Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a review of my Chanel Jumbo Classic Flap. I bought this bag back in year 2010 and the retail price for this bag was Euro 2010 also. And because I am not um because we I got this bag in Paris, basically Singaporeans as Singaporeans or as non-locals you can get a rebate of your tax paid. And after tax rebate, the price was about two um about one thousand seven hundred and fifty euro. So uh, at that time, I thought this price was actually quite expensive. It was really high because I was used to paying, um, a lot lesser for bags, back then. But considering what you have to pay for a Chanel jumbo today, I think I got a really good bargain. Yeah, so the bag that I have in here is actually in caviar leather with silver hardware. So I'll go through um, the bag with you and also share with you the wear and tear of the bag as well as some of the features that it comes with and also um, my wish list for my future or my upcoming Chanel that I hope I can find. And, and I will also go through with you what can fit in this Chanel um, jumbo flap in case you are thinking of whether to get a medium flap or a jumbo flap. So the jumbo Chanel, uh, I mean the Chanel jumbo classic flap and middle flap are two of the most famous handbags in Chanel's timeless collection. The handbag comes in different colors and leathers and also hardware color. So in terms of color, I went with black, but you also have a other selection like red, beige, white, pink, blue, gray, maroon, etc. But black is the most classic. So I will suggest that if this is your first Chanel bag, to actually opt for the black if possible, because it is so timeless. You can match it with a lot of your outfits and it will never go out of style. In terms of the leather, you can choose between caviar leather or lambskin leather. Um, later on, I will go through with you the difference between the caviar leather and lambskin leather. In terms of the hardware, I went for the silver because the first uh, Chanel flap that I had, which I saw before I bought this, was in gold and lambskin um, combination. But after much thinking, I decided to go for um, the silver hardware because I thought it looks a lot less matured and a bit more stylish compared to the gold. But uh, subsequently, because I like the gold hardware, I actually bought a Chanel GST and also a Chanel Walk uh, with the gold hardware. So the retail prices for caviar leather and lab skin is about the same. Uh, so it depends on what you what leather you prefer. You can you know go for either one. In general, the caviar I think is sturdier and it's more resilient compared to the lab skin. But many people like the lambskin because of the smooth leather and the uh, uh, softer finish and it makes the bag look really luxurious. But if you, because I intend to use my bag quite regularly and also I, um, I don't baby my bags. So I prefer to go for the um, cover leather because it can withstand a lot more abuse than the lambskin um, like in terms of scratches and in terms of scuffing. I had this bag for six years for now. Uh, in terms of scuffing, I have some like scuffing at the corner here, and also like scuffing at the corner here. And um, unfortunately, I actually dropped this bag before, uh, when I was having a really, uh, fun discussion with my friend. And as a result, I have uh also a light scuffing at the corner here, but it can't really be seen. And it still looks good overall. I think if this was a lambskin bag, I, I probably would have to send it to a, a bag doctor by now. Uh, another reason why I decided to go for caviar instead was because of the puffiness of the quilting over time. Uh, the lambskin that I had, uh, which was about 15 years old um, when I got it, had rather flattened quilting. So what I like about Chanel bags is mainly the quilting. And I didn't want a, a, a bag with flat quilting because it 
it really goes against what I like, which is the puffiness of the quilting. That's why I decided to go for the caviar because I believe caviar can maintain its quality or uh, its puffiness over time if the bag is stored uh, correctly um, in the storage. Uh, so that's the reason why I actually got this bag. So I will show you how the bag has held up over the past six years. I actually do condition my bag every six months uh, whenever possible with a, uh, with a standard with a standard leather condition or a leather cleaner or a leather softener or what do you call that. Uh, basically, I just rub the bag with the cream as per normal with a cloth and I also store it with silicone gel so that it keeps the bag um, with lesser humidity. And what I meant is because Singapore is quite a humid country, so I I try to actually ensure that the bag is kept in a dry storage um, so that the leather can, you know, doesn't get destroyed over time. And also, I usually will put it in the dust bag, which is over there. I put it in a dust bag and I will store my chain in the bag with this stuffing before I put them I put the bag in the box. I know some people said that you shouldn't be putting that in a box because the box doesn't have any air that can vent allow ventilation for the leather. But so far after six years, I think it's pretty okay. I have no issue with the way how I have stored it. Um, in terms of the scratching on the hardware, there is some scuffing at the corner here, some scratches here on the leather hardware which I believe was created when um, I dropped the bag. But again, it can't be seen. The, 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 it still looks quite new. If I didn't tell you that this was a six-year-old bag, you probably wouldn't have known that I had, have had this bag for quite some time. I think in terms of the wear and um, also the potential number of more years that I can enjoy out of this bag and um, the, the um, MV, MV that I get from my friends whenever I use this bag, I think it's sufficient. It's more well worth for the amount of money that I've paid for, especially I paid at a really good price. So I shall take out my the stuffing in here to show you how it looks inside. At the corner of the bag, which if you actually close it up like this, on this left hand side corner, there is this um, can you see that? There is a hologram sticker with the serial number of the bag. And the serial number should match the authenticity card that looks like this. It comes with every bag, every Chanel bag that you buy. So back in 2010, the series of the card or of the bag was um, 1-3. So I guess right now, the serial number has gone up to 2-1 if I'm not wrong or even more or even higher than that. In my bag, I also have a silicone um, gel pack so that it keeps my bag dry. I, I actually got this silicone from um, Daiso. So for a big pack of like 10 or 20 packs, you basically I basically paid $2 for it. So when I do my bag condition, I also... I will also condition inside because inside of the bag is made of um, leather uh, except for the pocket, the zip pocket which is actually made of fabric. The rest of the bag is all made of leather which I think it's really good value for money because if I compare it with my other bags like Prada or um, Prada or Louis Vuitton um, some of my bags had fabric interior, which, you know, it's not as luxurious as, as, um, as leather, I suppose. Okay, so there is also a back pocket here, which usually I will slot my handphone in because um, I can easily access it in and out of the bag. And uh, overall, I'm really happy with how my bag has held up. I am so happy that I bought this. I... However, I wished I actually bought a lot more back then, um, given that, you know, if I had knew, if, if, I, if I had known that Chanel would have increased, do increase their price every year, actually, I should have known. I, I, was, I was just undereducated about it. 
if given a choice, I would like to have um, a few more flat bags in red, in blue, in pink, if my budget permit, uh, and, and also in beige. Those are really the number, the bags that I want. Um, if I how I wish my bank account is unlimited, that's and I can just go and grab them right now. So in terms of what fits, I have my Louis Vuitton uh, Salma, uh, no, my Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet in here. I'll show you what I usually bring out if I'm using this bag. My bag of tissue and wet tissue and also insect repellent in this humongous bag. Um, my charger for my backup battery for my handphone. The, my mini cosmetic bag my house keys which I'm using the coach pouch as a catch all a box of mint and my car keys so you can see that it's actually quite full but I believe if you don't need so much tissue as me tissue paper as me you can put other things like your mini pochette or um, uh, some other things that you 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 like. My handphone, I again, I usually put it at the flap behind, so it doesn't matter if I can fit it within the flap itself. So this is how the bag looks like. It's really heavy right now. Okay, I'm also going to show you what do I normally do to um change the look of this bag. Um, as you may have already known, I love pools. I put my poofs or my pom pom in um boxes like this, uh, from you know the some of the uh, other items that I bought from Prada or or Tots etc. And I put in this box are uh, the poofs that have silver hardware and the other miscellaneous item. And the other box over here, I have my poofs in the gold hardware. I can show you. I have so many poofs. Yes, I'm a bit obsessed with poofs. I like this very much. This has a, a such a cute pony and a pink poof to go along with the pony. Anyway, I wanted to show you how the poofs will make the bag look a little different and a little playful because I love poops at the moment. So this is how it looks with the silver grey poof. This is my green, I don't know what's this green, is it Kelly green? Green poof. It's really heavy. The reason why the bag is heavy is mainly because of the chain, but it's the chain that makes the bag also look quite outstanding. So I have no complaints, I just have to bear with the heavy weight of the chain. This is a, a dark green poof, which you can't see clearly from the screen, I believe. And lastly, this is a brown, a light brown poof. So this is how your bag will look like if you actually dress it up with you know um, some bag charms or poofs to make um, your own bag it looks different from the other people so that's the end of my video i hope you enjoyed this video and do leave me a comment down below if you like me to give you um, other uh, comparison videos or other videos on my other bags I have a new bag coming along which I have not collected it from my brother but he basically bought it for me from London and I'm so looking forward to actually show, showing the bag to you but until then I'll see you next time bye